Hello YouTube! What's going on guys? My name is Chief, and today I have a brand new Steel Division Normandy 1944 video for you guys. Um, I'm going to be playing on the map of Merida. It's going to be a 3v3. Um, today I'm going to be playing as the 15th Infantry Division. Gonna have Botchers, who's rolling as the third armor division, as well as, um, well, I don't know who the heck this guy is, but he's gonna be playing as the third armor division as well. So we're gonna be playing as, or playing against rather, the uh, 17th SS Panzer Grenadier, the 21st Panzer, and the 12th SS Panzer division. I'm gonna go ahead and start the game as well as switch it to my point of view, just so you could see uh, what I am seeing. Uh, right at the start of the game, uh, 10th Armored Division, that's his name, he's going to be taking uh, this right side. I guess I, I had originally planned to take the right side, but um, kind of an interesting... I don't know, we got two right. Botchers is going to be going in the middle, and he's going to be sending some... Uh, Units over to that right side. I'm now beginning to bring in some units to that right side because we didn't have anything over there. Really poorly planned. Um, if you guys are wondering, Botches and I are looking for other people to play this game with. Um, if you guys are interested, just contact me. Send me a PM. Send me a friend request on Steam. I know I leave my Steam account in the uh, description of all the videos. Um, if you want to play with us, hit me up, and uh, we'll gladly play with you guys. Because uh, communication with uh, randoms is really, really hard, because a lot of the times they don't respond to you. But anyways, right at the start of the game, uh, Botch is going to be making some first contact with Jay Fixer, who's playing as the 12th SS. He's going to be in the center area, bringing a Spitfire Mark 9, and uh, going to be providing some air support for all of Botcher's tanks in the middle there. Have the uh, 17th SS Panzer Division over here on this right flank with these uh, Panzer 4Cs. Really nice looking vehicles as they're uh, going to be pushing through that field there supported by the uh, SPW223. 57mm AT gun's going to be opening up on those guys and they're going to be forced to fall back. Oops. Uh, meanwhile on my side, um, not too much going on. I got a 6 pounder to kind of watch this uh, road here make sure nothing pushes up. I got the uh, Humber Mark III that dropped off the Recce squad. Uh, got a few rifle squads pushing up. One of them is going to get pinned down. Got the uh, Vickers HMG here. Um, just uh, He's going to be providing some eyes and uh, some fire support in this general area. Right at the start of the game we have a 54% map control. Um, Botch is going to be making a big indent in their uh, front line there in the middle with his command M5A1 and the uh, rifle squads that he now has pushing up into these tree lines. 10th Armored is he's going to be pushing up on the far left flank. He's got a couple of uh, rifle squads and some half tracks pushing up. He's got the uh, M4A1 supported by my AVRE. He's going to be able to take out lots of infantry. Nice looking vehicle. I want to warn you guys that this game, oh god, we played it so poorly. We we should have lost this game. I mean, just poor positioning of units. I'm pretty sure we lost all of our anti-tank guns by, by the middle of phase B. Like, it was just a terrible game. I don't know how we managed to win. Perhaps it was that, that this early lead that we got right at the start that granted us the victory I'm not sure how it worked out in our favor towards the end there but you know you got to do what you got to do 57 millimeter is going to be opening up on the uh, 259 there on that right flank and uh, front line is going to begin to even itself out I am bringing up a handful of units as well as botchers um, going to be supporting this right flank a lot of the game Recon vehicle is going to go down to these 57 millimeters. Nice kill. Got the 223 pushing up as well. He's going to be spotted, but he he gets out of there just in the nick of time. He's not going to be uh, blowing up anytime soon. 
Enemies making good use of smoke to cover their advance, cutting uh, the line of sight off from my Vickers HMG there in the forest. Rifle squads are going to be pinned down by the uh, multiple mortars over here on this uh, far left flank. 10th Armored is going to be making some ground now over there on that flank. Pulled up a handful of rifle squads to um, even out the front line here. They were beginning to create a bulge over here and we, well, we don't want that. So, Got the Humber Mark III pushing up now with the Recce squad. Little nice, nice little uh, support vehicle there. It's got the 20 millimeter, 15 millimeter uh, basic cannon on it. Really nice for taking out infantry. Unfortunately, my HMG squad is going to go down to the uh, SPW 221. I'm bringing over the AVRE to support and uh, hopefully take him down. This thing's got a Panzerbusch. 41 on it. I'm not sure what millimeter that is. Perhaps it's like a 30 millimeter or some some sort like that. Probably. Uh, well, he does have 8 AP, so I do want to be uh, weary of those side shots that he can get on me. He's starting to bring the AVRE in now. Dumping off all of my rifle squads along with the armed uh, rifle leader. Most of uh, Botcher's units get taken out in the middle. That's not exactly what we wanted but I am bringing up units to assist uh, he directed most of his attention over this far right side as we didn't have anything over there at the start of the game however we are starting to make some ground so a little shocking that the enemy didn't push us perhaps they didn't even realize that we had nothing on this right flank but you're gonna see that once that 223 or 22 something goes down over here you know that's gonna just create a big indent on their front line it's going to grant us a 54 percent map control with a plus one lead we're going to be continuing to take the lead here folks kind of an interesting game really poor playing on our part should have lost it i mean i'm look at this i'm running the rifle leader right through an open field how stupid am i rifle squads are going to be engaged by the panzer grenadiers Panzer Grenadiers actually outmatch the rifle squads by a crap ton. But uh, because of their low strength, they're going to go down really quickly. Unfortunately, the enemy does bring up some 259s, and they're going to be hitting my rifle squads really easily. <coughs> Excuse me. I, uh, I bring in the uh, Typhoon. That is a Spitfire, not a Typhoon. Not sure why it's saying I, I do have a Typhoon. Okay. Not sure why the Spitfire is not there. Um, I brought him in, and he's going to be bombing the artillery over here on this left flank, the uh, IG-18s, and I'm going to get one of them to be destroyed. I bring up the Typhoon to kind of stun this, uh, what is this thing? It's a uh, R. Filakwerfe. Don't know if I pronounced that right, but it's all right. This is a game, not a... Uh, not a speech class for German. And I'm going to be stunning him, forcing him to fall back. Loads of anti-tank guns over here in this in this field here. That that gun looks broken. Oh, what is happening? Fix, fix this game. Anyways, I'm signaling to my teammates that there is a crap ton of anti-tank guns there. So, half-tracks are unfortunately going to go down, but now we are aware of their positions. It kind of takes us a little while to... Do something about it because we keep directing our attention elsewhere, but we do eventually get to it. So that's a good thing. Unfortunately, my rifle squads are going to be taken out here in this uh, trees to the right of the main road here. Luckily, this 57 millimeter anti-tank gun is going to be taken out that uh, rocket artillery vehicle there in the middle, and that's no longer going to be a threat. That's really good. Great positioning with this AT gun here. To he has line of sights down that whole main road, so that's really good. Perhaps the enemy didn't realize all we had in this area was AT guns. So that that is just the way things happen in this game. You know, you think there's a crap ton of units in an area, 
it, it makes you not want to push that specific area. And there might be nothing in it. You never know. Who knows, folks? But uh, anyways, the enemy is going to be pushing up a 259 that pins down the uh, rifle leaders as well as takes out a half-track. Recce squad's going to be spotted. Not sure. They're definitely... Oh, well, they do survive. The armed rifles, uh, they get non-pinned down there right in the nick of time. And uh, they do take out that uh, 259 before he engages my recce squad. And we're going to... You can just see the... Uh, the impact that has, we get a crap ton of ground there right back. All because of this armed rifle squad. So, thankfully, Botchers brought him up. Now you're going to be seeing all the Phase B units coming in as it just commenced roughly 10 seconds ago. Still going to be contested in this area as the AVRE is smoked out. Not going to be able to take shots at any of these SS Stostrup pushing up on my rifles. Really devastating unit here as they do have the MP40s as well as these PPSH 41s. That those machine guns are really a pain in the ass. I guess they were brought over from the Eastern Front because I'm not sure why those units have them. You know, just a little bit of a fictitious um, being in the game. That's pretty cool though. Unfortunately, the bastards rush up a Panzer Shrek squad with the cover of this smoke and take out my aviary. So, that pissed me off a little bit. Gonna be really causing an indent in this front line. I decided to call in a crocodile to kind of deal with all the problems I'm having over here. As well, I don't really have a lot of units in this area to begin with. And, uh, like I said earlier, we played this game very crappily we should have lost it we lost so many units as you can just see the poor management of the command carrier um i also want to add though we are still learning the game it's okay uh we're allowed to suck we play it to have fun and that's all that's to it so command carrier is going to be engaging the uh rifle squads that were in that area perhaps they were the uh Stostrup. and look at this oh my god at this point, we're crapping our pants. You can see somebody signals. I don't know why the uh, signal things aren't popping up. That's okay. Somebody's going to signal that there's a shit ton of tanks coming right down the main road. Uh, we don't know what to do about it because, well, I mean, we got anti-tank guns in place, but my six-pounder can't see anything. This AT gun can't see anything. Well, for the most part. There's no recon. That would have helped a little bit probably. The only AT gun that saw anything was the first one but he gets blown up i bring in the typhoon with the rockets i'm not sure if they're at i believe they're just regular rockets he's going to be taking some shots on that road hopefully i was able to stun some of those vehicles i actually want to take a look at that now i'm going to switch it to neutral perspective i do end up taking out not taking out anything forcing the uh, panzer 4j to fall back there and i'm going to go ahead and switch it back to my point of view as you saw there Right now, the enemy is just mounting an all-out offensive here. You, you saw... Let, let's look at this real quick. They're pushing up a crap... What is this? Oh, just some 20 millimeters, it looks... But still, look at all the shit they're pushing up. Oh, my God. We had no idea. Look at all the... Oh, my God, dude. This whole tree line is crawling with Jerry's. Holy smokes. All right, let me let me get back to uh, get back to the game. Let me put it back to my perspective. Um, Panzer fours are going to be trying to push through this open field. Luckily, our AT guns were in place. Botrus had the 57 millimeters here. Unfortunately, one does go down, but we do manage to take out the BEF Panzer four there. That is the command Panzer that provides extra veterancy to. All the unit, all the tanks or and vehicles around it per se, and uh, luckily I'm not sure who it was, but either it was either this guy or this guy. They're going to be able to take him out and force the other Panzer to fall back. Finally, we decide to handle those AT guns that were in that tree line. Botchers brings in some P38 Lightnings with the HE rockets, and we're going to be able to handle these really big guns. Unfortunately. Enemy has some rocket artillery right there, and he's going to be hitting the units in this area really hard. And 
3A1 half track is going to be forced to fall back. And 3A1 half track is the variant with the 50 cal on it. Really nice, nice shot there. Uh, the regular M3 half track is the one with the 30 cal. So if there was some confusion there, hopefully I cleared it up. Lots of stuff kind of happening on this side. Uh, 10th armor is going to be pushing up some M8s and half track. There you go. M3 half track, 30 cal. Let's take a look there. You can see smaller gun. Anyways, he's going to be pushing up his units. They're going to be gauged with Panzer Grenadiers that do not, thankfully, do not have the uh, Panzerfaust because that M8 would have been killed quickly. And that's a, that's a valuable unit there. We don't want to lose him. Now we're starting to push up. Interesting tactic here, moving up with the M21 MMCs. These are the mortar carrier half tracks. I believe there is an 80 millimeter mortar on top of there. Very nice vehicle. Uh, he's gonna be, they're gonna be leading the charge. And uh, as you can see, interesting, in, oh my God, let's not zoom in on that. Interesting um, tactic here by this M3 half track. He is gonna be, I don't know what he's gonna be doing, but it's gonna be causing a whole lot of confusion for the enemy perhaps if they were to zoom in on this this would happen to them and they're not going to be able to see a damn thing so you know that might have worked out probably didn't not sure that's just buggy and i'm sure it'll be fixed but uh right about now moving in all of my units i got some uh, willies mmgs and bren groups pushing up uh spw 221 with the uh Panzerbusch 41 on it with that 8 AP. He's going to be engaged. Should have probably pushed up the crocodile here. Could have taken him out, but he's going to bail out, so he's not going to be much of a threat anymore. Willie's MMG is going to be targeted by this Stostrup. They actually have Panzerfausts now. I believe they actually always had Panzerfaust. Um, my bad. But um, they're going to be engaged with him. Look at this. Pips. He's gonna go down. I forget his name. He's an ace that you get when you pre-order the deluxe edition of the game. I'm gonna be able to take him out easily with my um, Spitfire Mark 19 or Mark 9 with the 20 millimeter cannons on there and the uh, Browning machine guns. Nice looking plane right there. Anyways, the enemy is gonna be making a lot of ground not sure how we're maintaining this 51% lead we have 600 700 points enemy has 29 I don't know how it's working out right now I mean perhaps perhaps it was this this like gap that we have over here as you can see botches is finally going to be able to start bringing in some tanks as uh, that phase B does roll out third armored gets all of its a lot of its tank support in the phase B phase I'm retarded I know thank you um, not gonna be making any sense there but it's alright FW190 G1 comes in with the 500 kilogram bomb tries to hit my crocodile and force him to fall back but doesn't exactly do that he takes out my Piat squad right there anyways um, they weren't doing much loads of 20 millimeter um, flat guns here they're gonna be opening up on the armed rifles of the 10th armored of this guy I don't like calling him 10th armored it gets kind of confusing when you know like 15th and third armored I mean that's a it's not a silly name I get it it's you cool it's cool I I would probably do it too I actually did it and company heroes I changed my name to the 12th SS Panzer division which is the one that's in this game and I wanted to basically make a clan based around it and I don't know I had such a great envision of it I was probably like 12 years old and it was just it didn't work because I didn't know what I was doing I was 12 years old so I mean whatever that's that's that I bring up a Wolverine to handle this son of a bitch tank here and my Wolverine is oblivious to this and well you're gonna see shortly how useful this Wolverine was for me in this game any moment now and well there you go fuel explosion one shot he was able to see me but I wasn't able to see him pretty interesting there he was a lot of 
help, I guess. Not really. Gets one-shotted. Thanks for doing your part. But uh, anyways, I bring up a Command Church... A Command Church Hill 7. This guy has the 5 HE on the main gun and 11 AP on the main gun. He's going to be able to stun anything that's in this tree line. He does his job. He takes out a any tank gun that was there. I'm trying to get him to have line of sights on these Panzer Grenadiers. I'm just not sure if it's going to work out uh, with him sitting there because there's these trees there because I'm still learning how to micromanage all these Johns. Beautiful strike there by the Typhoon with the AT rockets, I believe that is. Gonna be able to hit a Panzer IV right in that side armor where it's weakest. That guy's gonna go down. That was actually the Command Panzer IV. He has a little bit more armor than the rate than these Panzer Gs here. And uh, well, he was the unit providing the extra veterancy, so he's gonna go down really quickly. Nice target for my Typhoon there. Nice kill. Beautiful work. Meanwhile, on this right side, enemy, what is his name? What's his name? What's his name? Cruel Balonies. All right, great name. He's going to be bringing in the JU-87G. This has the 30, oh God, can't zoom, on, zoom in on him there. He has the 37 millimeter cannons on them. He's going to be able to take out that M4A376 uh, with ease, I would say. Botchers is going to be bringing up a Jumbo. Now, these things are absolutely absolutely gorgeous you can just see the amount of armor that's on them these guys they have what do they got the 20 armor 20 front armor they're great they're great nothing can penetrate them right right yeah we we think that anyways in the middle pulling around my churchill botchers brings in a off map artillery 155 millimeter uh sherman and you know what I think is really stupid? This Sherman has a main gun. But look at it. I mean, it's pointless. It's so disappointing to call this thing in hoping that you're going to be able to use, utilize that main gun. You can't use it. Look at it. Look at it. Where, where is it? All I see are machine guns. I'm hoping this thing has a 75mm gun on it that I could utilize, but... I mean, it would be cool if, you know, perhaps Paradox and Eugene decided, okay, we're going to allow the, uh, these tanks in specific, specific, da, 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 specifically to use their main guns. We're going to make them cost a crap ton more, though, because they can have off-map artillery. I already do think this guy costs, like, roughly, you know, 30 or 40 points more than a regular Sherman that is gonna die easily right there and while well, now my shooter is knocked down to Churchill but anyways I think I think it's silly to like have this I don't know I, I, I wish you would be able to utilize that main gun that's really stupid we didn't know that at first we actually just found that out in this game really annoying but it's all right I call in a challenger to kind of support my uh, little front front here I guess you want to call it and uh, not really a front cuz I mean I got jack shit in here but um, he's gonna be providing some support hopefully I'm uh, not too sure what happens to him uh, Churchill is gonna be able to engage and pin down that AT gun that was engaging him earlier and uh, I'm calling him back cuz I really don't want to lose him right now he is probably my best asset and wow look at that he was about as useful as the Wolverine that I pulled up. Oh my god, look at this. What is this? This is a panther. You bastard. Yeah, look at you hiding behind that little well and the tree. You're a pain in the ass. Freaking blowing up my tanks. Son of a bitch. That's alright. Not too worried about it. Right now the enemy is starting to gain some ground. We're a little worried about this. Oh shit, what is that? Oh my god. Well, if it isn't, if it isn't the ace himself, Senior Kurt Nispel, 
the German tank ace. Oh my god, this guy. He has like 168 confirmed tank kills. And he is steamrolling right towards our... Right, right towards Botcher's tanks here. This is not what we're hoping for. Really nice looking tank. I actually really wish I... I pre-ordered the uh, the deluxe edition just so I could have this beautiful tank. This, I mean, just look at it. It's so nice, so pretty. Really cool that they they have that. Hopefully, I'm hoping. And look at that. Look at that. The jumbo and the other Sherman that Botchers brought up on this right flank are dead already. I mean, that thing fired like three shots, and they're dead. My Daimler AC. He's gonna be trying to get the hell out of there he's gonna be reversing because that thing is not having it he is pissed Kurt Nispel is pissed off and he is he's coming for us meanwhile in the middle cro uh, that Churchill is gonna be taken out by this Jagdpanzer Jagdpanzer 4 kind of a cool looking vehicle I don't really like these things they're probably really good, but I don't, I don't like using them. I bring in the uh, Typhoon a AT w to uh, take him out, but you can see that's just about as useful as uh, that the Wolverine and the Challenger that I brought in. Trying to get my Piat spot squad in a great position. We're going to see if it could pay off here. We got three Panzer IV Js pushing up. Hopefully I'm going to be able to do some damage here. We get a hit on one Panzer J. Can we get another? Come on, baby. He's going to be forced to fall back. I do believe I told him to target this guy now. Come on. Come on, don't disappoint. Well, they disappointed. That guy gets a hit. Not what I wanted. I was hoping I could get a cheeky kill with the Piat squads there, but... No, that didn't work out in our favor. Kurt Nispel is still pushing hard on this right side. He is... He's just waiting for us to do something stupid and like push units into his um, into his range. I mean, look at this guy. Look at that guy. Kurt Nispel. All the pictures I see of this guy online, he has like a full face of hair. I mean, this guy, he has a beard, oh my god, it's crazy. He's really cool looking. Definitely wouldn't expect him to be a, 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 a panzer ace, I mean, jeez. Spitfire Mark IX is going to be forced to get out of the, get the hell out of there. Look at those FW-190A8s pushing in. Unfortunately, my Wolverine, the, the second one, this is two that I brought in. He gets taken out. I don't even know if he did anything. I'm hoping he did. Probably not. Look at this little bastard sitting here. Freaking 88. I love using those things though. They're great. Right now the enemy has a plus one lead with 53% map control. Botchers is bringing up the... I believe this is a 76mm anti-tank gun to deal with Kurt Nispel here. Now we're going to see if... See if we could do anything about that, because look at all this stuff. J Fixer is not messing around. We got Cruel Balonies. He's not messing around either. They're all going to be pushing their Panzers over to this right flank area. I'm just bringing in some infantry squads to solidify our front line. We don't want anything going wrong here. If the enemy gets into that 52 or 58% uh, range and start getting in plus two territory you now we're we're almost certain that we are gonna lose this game right now there's still a chance because of this armed rifle leader look at this he's gonna be he's holding it down over here he's gonna be getting some and finally our guy on the left flank is gonna be pushing up as you as I stated in the beginning of the game this was my original area of operation so I do still have units over here I am commanding a bunch of units bringing up same some rifle squads still have the six pounder anti-tank gun as well as the crocodile that I brought in during phase B he's gonna be I'm gonna be bringing him into the fight just cuz I'm realizing now that th we have 49% and they have 51 we just have to even it out for another 
minute or two, and we will secure this victory. This is all we have to do. Meanwhile, 76 millimeter anti-tank gun's gonna be pounding Kurt Nispel's King Tiger. I mean, he's gonna be pounding him, but guess what? It doesn't do anything. Shooter's gonna get knocked out for five or six seconds. It's a bounce. Here we go, let's see. He also brings in the 76 millimeter uh, Sherman. Crew knocked out, but that's gonna be a bounce. He's gonna be forced to fall back now. I'm telling you this, Kurt Nispel literally ate probably, I don't know, 30 rounds of armor piercing shells. I mean, he just ate them. He ate them. He literally, the, bounce, bounce, driver knocked out, bounce. I mean, look at that, bounce. He's supposed to be falling back right now, but he can't. Bounce, bounce. I mean, these guys are just going to, they're going to work. We're trying so hard to kill this, this bastard. Botchers brings in the P-47. That doesn't even do anything. All those rockets unfortunately miss, but, I mean, look at, he's just, oh my god. He's just eating bullets. Crazy. Shooter knocked out, bounce. I mean, are we ever going to be able to take this guy out? Who really knows? We got two Panzers pushing up right behind him. So I'm sure you could imagine, like, how much we're panicking right now. I mean, it's unbelievable. I'm just waiting to call in this Typhoon with the AT rockets, because I I I'm hoping that that is the, that is the match for Kurt Nispel and his bloody tiger i mean we even get a side shot there the en engine's gonna be destroyed i actually did not realize that that happened his his armor is gonna be shown towards those guns and well let's see let's see if the typhoon could do anything here boom kurt nispel's gonna go down typhoon at does the job you williams williams my guy my guy Williams, you deserve a medal. You just freaking. I'm pretty sure that that just won us the game. Kurt Nispel's bloody tiger there. He's gonna be. Well, he's burning, so he's no longer a threat. Look at the look at the gap. We were finally able to even out. Kurt Nispel had this whole freaking thing pushed over into this area, and we were not getting any points but we finally evened it out push on the left side is going to be going really strong 10th armored has his m4a3s pushing up along with a jumbo my crocodile is going to be putting in some work taking out some at guns as well as any of the infantry units that are in the area finally on, well that sucks unfortunately he goes down to these uh stubborn panzer shreks but i bring in two more well, one more as well as the command churchill so that's going to be good. Holding the ground in the middle. Right now we have 2 minutes and 17 seconds left. We are just, we're waiting. We're just trying to fortify our positions. Trying to gain as much ground over on this left side as we can. Enemy still has the plus one lead. I don't know if you guys noticed that. They have 51% of the map right now. We have 49. But we are going to win this game. They are just not going to be able to to get enough points to beat us in two minutes especially since now we're starting to make a lot of ground over on this left side all we could do now is fortify the perimeter and wait all we got to do is wait you can see I'm bringing in the priests just to target any any tank positions I, I actually used it to hit this flak 88 that I did destroy uh, I'm bringing up some MMG carriers with the Piat squads. I also have a handful of rifle squads in this general area with rifle leaders. Got the command carrier. Botchers brings up a armed LMG rifle squad. This is the rifle squad that has the two Browning M1919 A6 machine guns and the M1 Garands. Really useful, really good fire support element, I would say. Enemy's gonna bring up a Lorraine to start targeting our positions. Unfortunately, my my MMG carriers are gonna be met by a 
Jagdpanzer right there in the middle. Transmission's gonna be damaged. Piat squads are gonna be hopping out of there as quickly as they can. MMG carrier gets taken out. And this is one of what I see. Panzer Grenadiers, MG42, they're gonna be pushing the front lines. Not what we want right now. Armed rifle leader is gonna be taking out the half track, but he's got a full squad of Panzer Grenadiers on top of him. They're gonna be engaged. But Shock T's still alive at the moment. And he's gonna go down quickly. We've got one guy in the rifle squad over here on this left flank. MMG carrier is finally opening up on these Panzer Grenadiers, but he's gonna go down to that Panther G that or D that was sitting in the uh, tree line over here that was causing me a crap ton of of just pain through that entire game and well that really sucks i don't know why the launcher keeps crashing but i'm gonna end it there folks um if you have a solution to this and it would actually really help me out if you guys could you now give me any idea on how i could fix this i don't know why this keeps doing it it only does it sometimes gets right to the end of the game and it just it craps on me if you guys could help me out here uh, it would be greatly appreciated leave in the comments down below if you if you know anything on how to fix this i would really appreciate it i love you guys um really fun game kurtness will really put up a fight he was killing us left and right finally able to take him out with the typhoon anti-tank um but Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that, folks. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I did. I know Botchers did. I'm sure the other team was furious, but that's okay. It was a really good game. I'm going to see you guys on the battlefields. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next one. And as always, stay tuned for more.